All right, well, this is how my little um, electronic paperclip motor ended up. And I went to a neodymium ring magnet and a brass shaft, but there are the paperclip mounts for it. And I mounted it on a board, and the circuit's on the board. It runs on an alkaline AA battery. And uh, this is the 6th of June, 2013. I just soldered it up as best I could. Very simple. It has no on and off switch. Just to keep it pure simple. To start it, you just flick it. And there it goes. It goes either way. You can start it either way, either direction. And it fits in this box um, in such a way that I can uh, store it and uh, keep it from getting in harm's way. An alkaline battery will sit on the shelf for literally years without really going bad. And drawing um, 40 milliamps, I figured this would run for days if I left it on, but I'm not going to leave it on. It's just a display item. So, um, like I say, that's the way it ended up. That's the box version. This is the final circuit right there. Uh, this circuit here had a capacitor that I was showing. Uh, it's not necessary. It was for demonstration. Uh, people have asked about the coil. It's r wound up on a sewing machine bobbin. It's 30 gauge magnet wire measures 11 ohms. There are all the values of the circuit. Uh, the circuit was presented by Dad have, and then I did slight modifications to it. The way this uh, works, and the main reason why I wanted to box it and keep it as a memory, is the um, display of a magnetic lockup or gearing that allows uh, basically a transition of, of power from one point to another, energy if you want to call it that, with the link up of the uh, magnets. And it's called magnetic gearing. And the way it works is on this one, it's like a worm drive where you've got a smaller gear interacting with a larger gear at 90 degrees. And it happens across a distance. And this is what I wanted to have was something that uh, could demonstrate this principle and how you can separate it out quite a ways away from the driving circuit. And this is mainly because of the torque advantage. I've got a small gear driving a larger gear in a worm gear, almost like a differential on a car. And then I can uh, put something in the middle, an object of any kind that doesn't have ferrous qualities and it'll keep on driving it. And that's a rock. And then I have this here that has the little satellite magnet in it. And it'll start running off that. And basically increases the distance that you can uh, transmit those magnetic flux lines and get something to happen. And that's really what I think people are concerned about or want is they want something that works, you know, something that they can put their cell phone on, you know, charge it up, and they don't really care what you call it. If it if it does the job and does what they want it to do, that's all they care about. And that's what I was showing here was a way to transmit a force. I don't know what you want to call it. It's not electricity. And I'm sorry if I made that. Uh, Misunderstanding. I'm not transmitting electricity, I've decided. I'm transmitting energy of a type. It's being reconverted to electricity. That the actual transmission is not electrons. It, I'm not transmitting electricity. And I hope I didn't uh, really misrepresent what was going on here. But that's the final project right there. You can put the lid on this and it makes no sound whatsoever. Still works through there. You can put Maggie on the top there and she comes on super bright working right through the box. This will transition right through your hand, a book, wood products, you name it, except for ferrous items. Anything that's ferrous, it won't go through that. That's it. That's the final boxing of the electronic paperclip motor. Thanks for watching.